Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read from the Bible. Acts chapter 16, verses 9 and 10. That night, Paul had a vision. A man from Macedonia in northern Greece was standing there, pleading with him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. So we decided to leave for Macedonia at once. We should never put a limit on the ways in which God might choose to speak to us. Yesterday we saw God putting a block on Paul's plans. Today he makes it crystal clear where Paul should go next. In a vision, he saw a man from Macedonia pleading with them to go and help. We received no information about what this vision was like, although we might presume that it was whilst Paul was dreaming. I wonder how you interpret your dreams. Much of the time, dreams are, in my experience, extraordinary and impossible to unravel. If I can remember them at all beyond breakfast, they don't seem to have any lasting significance. But dreams play an important role in many parts of the Bible, and so we should definitely be open to the possibility that they will, from time to time, reveal God's plans to us. Paul was clearly entirely sure that the vision was sent from God, and so he and Silas immediately set out to Macedonia. We need God's guidance on a continual basis. We often refer to guidance in relation to the big decisions of life, who we should marry, our career, or moving to a new area. But the truth is that every day we are making decisions about our relationships, our homes, our jobs and our purchases, and so we need to live with a continual openness to God's guidance. In my experience, God will often guide us through our experience, prayer, the Bible, sermons and our friends, but we shouldn't close the door to any way in which he might choose to speak to us. Perhaps in the future, he'll choose to speak to you through a film, a painting, a flower, a bird, or even a dream. Let me pray with you. Loving Father, help us to hear your voice, however you choose to speak to us. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier 